Wasteful broadcast. I feel like I'm too tall. Oh, now I'm probably too short. Okay, so you guys have been waiting for this video for quite a long time. I didn't take my GCC results, so I took them a year late. Long story short, I'm 17, not 16. I did a mock results video. If you'd like to go check that out, then click the link down below. I was gonna film me actually opening my results yesterday because I went to go collect them. I didn't want to film myself opening them because I was actually so nervous. I got them and me and my foster mum went to the car and we drove to a meadow nearby. It's sort of like a field, a place where I like walk my dog because I didn't want to go home and I didn't want to open them in the car and I didn't want to open them at school. But yeah, long story short, I got my foster mum to open the envelope and when she, like I looked at her face, so she was just like smiling and I was like, said to her, are they good? Are they bad? But I noticed what the result was for maths and I just started crying. I'm just going to read out what I got. My mock results, some of them were actually higher than my GCSEs. Some GCSEs were higher than my mocks. In the long run, I was pretty happy. Like at the start of the year, I wanted to get A's and I wanted to put in so much effort that I got it, would get A's and I just kind of realised that there's more to life than revising. So I revised, but I didn't revise like every day. And there's going to be people with A's and A stars. But I just want to say that the results you get do not define who you are. There's always another route. And I spent most of my life stressing, so I know how it feels. And good luck for everyone next year. And congratulations for the results that you got. So I'm just going to get into the video. Insider, which is digital applications level two, I got an A. So last year I got an A in my exam. I got an A in my um, unit two, which is my coursework. Right, let's move on to maths. Okay, so it was a freaking roller coaster, and I got told that you needed 125 marks out of 240 across all three papers because each paper was out of 80 and obviously we were doing the new 9 to 1 course grade thing. With maths, I'd always struggled with maths and I knew that I just wanted to do engineering and to be able to do science, which I absolutely loved science, it was my it's my favourite. I am so happy when I saw the 6 on my piece of paper and that a six is a high B, so to get a high B in maths is just wonderful for me, like absolutely wonderful. English language and English literature, I was quite disappointed with because I'm an English person, like I'm a science and I'm an English person and I was predicted uh, sixes. My mocks I'd be getting like, um, I'd get like a six in language and a five in literature or a six in literature and a five in language and I wouldn't revise for them and I revised tons for the real thing and I got C's, G5's for both of them and I went and asked and I was actually two marks off a G6 uh, for my literature and four marks off for my language. Not that disappointed and I don't think I'm going to get them remarked because it could always go lower. I need English but like I don't need higher than a C even if I did want to do English at A levels. I was pretty happy with my English grades apart from I did revise a shit ton for them. Like I watched so many Mr. Bruff videos and I even made a YouTube video on how to revise for English but in the exam they just asked the questions that I didn't want and it just kind of I don't know, I thought those exams went okay, but obviously not. Uh, additional science, core science, and I got B because I got a... You get an overall grade, and I got a C in chemistry, a B in physics, and a B in biology. And this year, I really wanted an A in physics, because physics is one of my favourite subjects. And I revised for physics quite through the year, like, it was... I was getting A's on my test. Um, like the odd B, but it would be fine. I don't know what happened. In the exam this year, I got a B. I don't know how many marks the exam's out of. I got a B in physics, I got a B in chemistry, so I was actually so happy with that. And I actually got higher in my chemistry than my physics. Um, I was shocked at that. And biology got an A, so I was happy with biology. And that overall doubt to an A because my coursework was an A star. What was my coursework? So I got full marks in my coursework. German. Good golly. So I decided to take German after taking French the first time round I did year 10 because I 
thought I was part German because I do have German ancestors and I love the language and I love the people and the country I just think like the whole German is is like I like it. Like it started off and I was predicted my target grade was a B and then it went up to an A and then it dropped down to a B again and then it dropped down to a C and I was just like what the hell I'm giving up with German. So I didn't revise for my listening and reading exams because you have coursework. So you have two writings, two speakings and on the writings I got B's and on the speakings I got B's. Obviously when the examiner marked it they dropped me down to a C. What on the listening I think that was, I got an E um, which was great because I didn't revise so I was kind of expecting it. Um, I was hoping for a pass but you know it's it's cool. Um, in unit 2 reading I got a D and in the German unit 3, what's that? I think that's speaking I got a C and my writing I got a C. So the highest one I got was my writing, um, so that's okay. And then geography I got a B. I was predicted an A, I think my target grade was an A for geography. Um, but the exams didn't go as well as I planned to. And, like my mocks were like A's, but then my exam, my real exams, I did. I got a C in unit one, so that's physical. And I thought that physical paper was like a blast. I thought it was so easy. You can never judge it on the way the paper went. Unit two, which was human geography, I got a B. So I was so shocked. Like everything just went opposite for me. My coursework was a C, but, and then I didn't get called back in for catch up to like sort out my coursework so you know what like I just want to pass geography now. So get a B I was pretty happy with that. Child development I got a B because I kind of fucked up my chance of getting an A star which is kind of annoying but it's okay because I'm not that keen on children anyway as I've said in my other videos. Uh, so my coursework for child it says home economics child development tasks so in my coursework I got an A star and then I got a C in the exam so the C dragged me down to a B, but I kind of planned that because I didn't revise that much for the exam. Like I was focusing on like English, maths and science because I had a long way to go with maths. So, so that's my GCC results. So overall I got two A's, four B's, three C's. I hope you're happy with your results and just remember they're just a piece of paper. And if you work hard for something then it should come to you. But just remember, like if you're taking GCC's or if you're taking A-levels now, the exams which you come out of thinking were easiest are usually the ones which, I don't know, usually the ones which you sort of like get lower grade on than the ones you found hard. So if you come home and you think, shit, I've actually failed that exam, don't lose hope because you probably got like an A. Thank you for the support on my video where I talked about retaking the year that was great there was some lovely support on that video thank you very much where i'm going after school is still a bit kind of like up in the air i kind of want to go into the raf uh so i've been trying to like keep my fitness up and everything and I'm going to be going to college, um, most likely. I have my course confirmation next week for sixth form and to be honest I think I'm more sort of like going towards the college side at the moment just because A-levels, I they're not like specific for the, the job roles that I'm looking at in the RAF. Yeah, give this video a big thumbs up. I didn't fail on my GCCs, yeah, you need to give it a thumbs up. Um, 